Hi, I'm Renee and welcome back to Peony and Me. Today, super excited, I'm going to show you what's in my nappy changing bag. Now, if you can hear some rustling or some gurgling or just some little squeaks, then it's because Georgie, one of my little boys, is just down below, just chilling out um, as I film. If you are new to my channel, I am a mum to two boys, Georgie, who is five months old, you have just mentioned he's down there, and then Henry, who, oh goodness, he is almost three. So I thought it's really exciting, because I'm a mum of a toddler and a baby, to show you what's in my bag and basically everything that I cannot possibly ever, ever, ever leave the house without. So, first up, I wanted to share with you the bag. And it's called the Ebony and it's by Mother Not by Coco Bell. And it's this absolutely beautiful classic bag. Um, I've got the black version, but it does also come in a beautiful blush pink. Um, but for me, I felt the black was very... Very classic, very everyday. It was a bag that not only could I use for the boys, but also when I go back to work and maybe I need to carry some extra baby essentials, then I definitely feel like I've got my professional head on versus my mummy head. Um, and yeah, it's it's just gorgeous. It's 100% um, leather in terms of the fabrication. It's got gorgeous metalware, which I love, which is really, really hard wearing and this gorgeous gold. It's got this gorgeous cocoa bow by Mother Not Charm on the front and then the gorgeous signature bow uh, by Coco Bell which I love again it's that little feminine touch to quite a not a masculine bag but a very very structured bag so I just love those little hits of femininity especially being a mum of boys anything that I can get away with that feels a little bit girly that I absolutely love and um, it's got so many pockets and compartments and everything which I'll get completely into as I go inside but it also has this great zip at the front which I pop my things like my purse and my keys and my phone you know things that I really need to hand it's also got another zip at the back which again I've got like my diary but I'll go into that later I'm getting ahead of myself and um, it's got these really really great strong uh, straps at the front and these are really good you know if you're feeling really chic with your cappuccino you know pushing the pram feeling lovely that never happens you will rarely use these bags, these handles even. This one is the one which I use all the time. It's a really over the shoulder, heavy duty bag. You just literally just pop that over your shoulder and then you can hold your baby in your cappuccino and you're ready to go. Um, there's also um, pram handle bags, which are in here, which I'll show you. And they're great for just hooking um, your bag onto your pram. So again, it's, it's, it's really versatile and it's a really real luxury piece and I think that you invest so much money into your children, your babies, that I feel like things like your pram, your changing bag, they're the things which you can invest in for you so you feel just that little bit more yummy um, when you, you use this on a day to day basis. So that's the bag, let's get rid of, oh, let's get rid of this strap and let's get stuck in. So first up, which is not in the bag, but I never ever leave house without it, it just clips onto the side, is this Tommy Tippy um, bottle warmer, and I just literally, if I'm leaving the house, and I know that within a two hour period, um, that's how long my cow and gate milk lasts, so if I know within a two hour period that Georgie's going to need another bottle, I make one up fresh. Georgie's not a fan of ready made formulas, um, he finds it. I think you find it a little bit thicker than the ones you make at home, plus it saves so much more money if I can make them on the go. So we'll just open this, oh, that was a spare dummy, so if you're wondering why maybe I don't show you a dummy, it's now on the floor. So where, what I was talking about was the, um, so yeah, bottle warmer, so I always make up a fresh bottle, so obviously I'm not going anywhere at the moment so there's no milk in here. Um, but yeah, I make up a fresh bottle and then this fantastic little gadget called the Milk Monster. I just pop on um, two hours and then I know that that bottle, if you can see, is good to go within two hour period. And again, I just pop it in here, it keeps it nice and warm and then when I'm out and about, I know I've got a nice fresh bottle ready to go for Georgie. So I love this, I can never leave the house without it. And yeah, the little Milk Monster, which is down there. So now let's get stuck into the bag. So as I mentioned before, it's got a really great front zip compartment here. So I'll just open that. And everything in here is everything from the likes of my phone. So yeah, it's a nice, pretty big phone. And you've got a picture of the boys there on the front. Never go anywhere without that for 
I don't really need to explain why we never leave the house without our phones. So yeah, so that always goes to the front so I can just grab it. What else is in here is my purse. Uh, which has, it says on the front here, mummy style. This is a gift from my husband for Christmas. Mummy style is basically my sister blog. Um, I found that since having the boys, I completely fell out of love with fashion and I fell out of love with myself and I found that other women felt the same way. So I started a blog that sits alongside this one. This is predominantly about the boys and babies and toddlers and things like that. So yeah, Mummy Style is its own separate blog. And as a gift, he got me this, just to remind me of how excited I was to launch it. And then on the back there, it's just got my name. And I'm not going to show you what's in my purse. It's just got everything from receipts, driver's license, cash cards, um, everything you would expect to be in a purse. But I love this because it's black, really nice and classic, like my Coco bow bag. And it's just the little gold emboss in there with Mummy Style. It feels quite... Quite precious and quite personal, so I love that. I just pop that. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> just down there. So what else have I got on my front? I think that's it. Yeah, so my purse and my phone, they always go in the front compartment. Uh, and then in the back, again, so I've got another good, really hefty zip at the back. And in here, because I am a mummy vlogger, I always have my notebook and this is a lovely one that I got during a next a networking event and it's great, it's a lovely beautiful grey, um, I love grey, I don't know if you can tell by the background of <laughs> my other videos or the boys clothes but I do love grey and again I just pop all my little notes to do, any blog ideas, what I need to do for the day um, and then also in there is just a pen, can't do your notes without a pen so they're always in the back and they come out so much because um, you never know when you might get a good idea when you're in a coffee shop or in the car and I just literally knock down my ideas. So let's really get stuck into the bag and see what I've got in here. So as I said before, I'm a mum to two. Georgie who's five months so he's still very much a baby and Henry who was almost three so he's definitely in the throes of being a toddler. So this is everything that I need if we are going out on a weekend with the two boys because in the week predominantly Henry is either in nursery or with my mum and then Georgie is with me in the week so the bag does differ of a weekday but generally this is my bag if we're leaving the house on a Saturday or Sunday and um, so first up is this little bag which is from Calf Kidson it's part of a weekend bag that I use as my going in hospital bag and I found that it's great for just keeping my little personal things separate from the boys stuff so what have I got in here I've got my lipstick which is the benefit they are real double the lip and it is in Nude Scandal, which I love because it's such a nice nude. It's really moisturising. I'm totally loving lipstick at the minute, especially red tones, but I really love this for an everyday. And I'm such not a person to top up their makeup in the day. Literally, once I go out, that's it. It has to stand the test of time. But really, really loving this. And it just gives you that little bit of uplift when a lot of the time I'm just out on my jeans, my jumpers, you know, my big overcoat. And it just makes you feel that little bit special. And um, speaking of feeling a little bit special, I've got my Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede, little handy um, handbag size perfume. I love this. It makes me feel so nostalgic because it's my wedding scent and um, so I just totally love this and if I could, if I was rich, I would have the house just full of this scent in terms of candles because I love it and again that's just that lovely way just to give me a pick me up and um, oh, bless you. Next up I've got some hand cream um, the I sterilise Georgie's bottles in just a big bucket of Milton and what I'm finding is my hands are super super sore especially in these winter months so I've just found out I've got hand cream everywhere at the moment, uh, so when it does feel a little bit sore. Sorry, I'm really having a really nice pamper session at the moment. I've got lipstick on, you know, clean clothes, not sick on, perfume and hand cream. Feels quite nice. So yeah, so that's just to keep my hands a little bit more moisturised because they're super, super sore at the moment. I'm just going to pop these in as I go so I don't lose anything. And as I mentioned before, totally loving red lipstick as well. This is Christine Dior in Rouge. Dior 999 and again that's a really really nice um, almost like an orange tone red which I love and again it's just those nice little things that you have for yourself because generally your life once you become a mum is all about the boys or your girls or whatever you have and I just find those little little things 
for yourself is lovely. Then the I've got in here just because it's handy too is those straps I was talking about which go on the bag so they can just hook onto your pram. So I've just got those there so everything's together. And then lastly, just some business cards, you know, just in case I might bump into someone that doesn't know much about P and me. Is there anyone left in the world that doesn't? <laughs> and yeah, I've just got those in there as well. So that's my little personal bag. Now, let's get stuck into what I've got in here for the boys. So, um, when we're out and about on a weekend, we may be going anywhere from something for breakfast, or maybe some lunch, or maybe we're going to someone's house, um, but I do find, or just literally in the car, and I do find having some little things to entertain the boys is really handy to have. Predominantly for Henry, if I know I'm going to be somewhere much longer, then I'll have everything from like sticker books, colouring books, um, or he'll have his own little backpack with quite a few little bits in. But if I know it's just going to be like a short term thing, then I'll pop some little bits of toys in here. For Georgie, he's got this little teddy, which used to be Henry's. I love that. I love that. Everything, some little things that Henry's has been passed down to Georgie. It's just so lovely. And this is the, I always forget, are you okay? Oh, you dummies come out. There you go. And um, this is the Guess How Much I Love You Teddy, a little bunny. It's got a little rattle. Um, so that, again, it's just something really nice, something comforting. I find that um, just like rubbing on his nose and things helps him fall asleep. So you know what? I'll give that to Georgie right now. Here you go, put it. Here you go. Um, what else I've got in here is a teething ring, which was a gift from one of my dear friends, Catherine. This was for originally for Henry um, and again it's been passed down to Georgie and it's like a wooden teeth and ring, he loves it, he grabs it, bites onto it and similar with the little teddy, if you just literally rub his little face when he's tired he falls, drifts off to sleep. So that's again, that's great and what the beauty of these is they're really small, compact and they fit really well in. I've just realised I've gave my baby a teddy bear with a bell on to play with while I film. Be with me one moment. And we swapped. So next up is Henry's. So Henry is completely and utterly into dinosaurs at the moment. And um, so I've got everything from a pterodactyl. So there you go. I've got a T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus Rex. And that is one of his favourite dinosaurs. And then I've got this little guy with a funny shaped head. And I was going to learn how to pronounce his name before I did this video and then I've just, since then I've thought, sod it, it's really hard, I don't know. So this little person is going to say it for me. There you go, from the expert. So I'm just gonna call it the dinosaur with the funny shaped hat. But if you really want to know, then check YouTube and that's his name. So um, yeah, so Henry's really, really into dinosaur at the moment. So I found just putting some of those in my bag, or again, like I said, he'll have his own little backpack with extra things in if I know we're going to be out much longer. Um, but yeah, they're just really handy. So, what else have we got? We've got Henry's water bottle, which is just a Tommy Tippy. Um, it's really easy. It's just got a little straw at the top there. And I'll just pop water in that. Um, again, for when we are just out and about so we can just feel refreshed. Um, or gin. If you ever go to soft play, they don't sell alcohol. Uh, so I do find, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, next up, we've got some muslins, which are great for mopping up sick, for Henry's bogeys, um, for maybe a bib for Henry, if we go out and he wants pasta or something like that. These are just great for everything. I've got millions of these and I always wash them, iron them, roll them up, put them upstairs in the drawers, come downstairs and one of the boys will vomit or need a nose wiping and of course they're all upstairs all lovely and fresh. It's the bane of my husband's life that he can never find a wet bloody muslin. So there you go. Next up is spare clothes. Now Henry is, well Henry, God bless him, he's been potty training now for what feels like five months and um, he's so good at it when he goes to nursery, he never has any accidents. At home he's a lot more lazy, you have to keep putting him on the potty. He, because he still has accidents, I still find that I put a pull up on um, Henry when we're out. Um, so sometimes he could potentially have an accident, so with that I always just pack a spare pair of trousers. Also if we go like the park 
or for a walk and he falls over and his knees get wet or he's jumping in muddy puddles, damn you Peppa Pig. Um, then I find that a spare pair of pants is really handy to have. Um, and then for Georgie, Georgie, like any baby, can be sick, uh, can have punamis, um, so many different accidents. So for him, he's just got a little vest rolled up, um, he's got a little pair of tights, um, I love the boys in tights, they just feel super comfy and they're really warming. Um, and then later on, before I go out, I'll just pop a jumper in, um, at the top of the bag as well, uh, just in case. But yeah, I've always got little spare clothes for the boys. Um, what else have we got in here? Nappies. So uh, for Henry, he has the Pampers size 6 pull-ups, as I mentioned before. And then for Georgie, he's in the little size 2 Pampers. Look at the difference in the size. Um, I always use Pampers with Henry, so we automatically use Pampers with Georgie. We have a Amazon subscription, so the Pampers just come on a monthly basis. However, I do find that I always have some left over from Henry because he is predominantly of a day in, in underpants. But for Georgie, his box never seemed to quite last the month. So with that, I always top up with the Asda's Little Angels. Um, I literally only need one extra bag and that gets me for the end of the month. They're really good value and I recently trialled them um, with Asda and they're fantastic. I can't fault them at all. But yeah, predominantly use Pampers because we have a subscription. Um, but yeah, as I said before, I do top up with the Asda's Little Angels, which are just as good. Uh, what else have we got in here? So whites, uh, again, Pampers, it's just the brand that I've always bought. Uh, these are sensitive and protect, and I've used these continuously with Henry, and I use them with Georgie, and they're great because um, Henry has eczema, um, so I don't, want, I don't like to put too much on his face if I need to wipe or his nose, but these seem sensitive enough, so they're good, and then obviously for changing their bums. So that's those. Um, oh, it's actually a really funny thing. When you go back to work, the first thing you notice is you don't have any wipes in your bag and oh my goodness they are so good for anything. So a huge tip girls when you go back to work pop a packet of baby wipes in your bag and literally you will be the loved person in the office because you can wipe up anything. Um, then I've also got this gorgeous um, changing mat again and it's got that gorgeous cocoa bow. Oh, do you like it as well, Georgie? Yeah. You've also got the Coco Bow um, logo design across, and it's really handy. Again, that's just really compact. Pop that out when we're out and about, um, and it's, yeah, it's just handy, and I love that it's, it's all in keeping with the branding. Hey! It's not your turn to talk. You can talk after. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And then what else have we got? Oh, snacks. Um, so Henry loves apples. He would eat 50 a day if he could. And then just some little raisins. And then other snacks could be um, little rice cakes or um, carrot sticks. Anything that's just quick and easy just to top them up until we, we eat. Um, but yeah, little snacks are always good. Um, Georgie is only uh, five months old, so he's not yet being weaned. She's still a month off. So I don't have any snacks in in here for him. But when I do, it will get a little bit more busier in here. Uh, what else have we got? So back to the old bum. Aveeno Daily Care Baby Barrier Cream. Love, 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 love this. I have tried, I think, every single nappy barrier cream there is out there. So much so, if you go on my blog, I think I've reviewed them all. Everything from Sudocreme to Bapantham to um, Metanium, um, Bert's Bees, literally everything, and I always go back to this one. And one thing that I didn't know when I became a mum was that this is a preventative, not a solution to a problem. Put nappy cream on every single time you change your baby's bottom, and then you will not potentially or less likely, that's what I was looking to, to get nappy rash. Henry got nappy rash so severe when he was a baby, um, and it was awful. So when they do get nappy rash, I always love metanium, I always go back to that. But I do find this Avena Baby Nappy Barrier Cream does the trick um, to keep it at bay. Super moisturising. You can see their bumps are really, really um, moisturised after a full night's sleep. So yeah, totally love this. Still with Avena is the moisturising cream. 
As I mentioned before, Henry's got eczema. It's flared up quite a bit this winter. It's normally more of a summer thing. Um, so I always take this out. It's great for white air, for cleaning up their faces, and then also for the little inside of Henry's arms when they get a little bit sore. It's also great for, you know, might as well moisturize myself for my poor little chapped hands. So uh, Georgie's teething. I actually got a funny story about teething. I got an email from Bounty to say that your baby's now five months and has probably now started to tease. Georgie has been teething since he was practically born, uh, so that email made me laugh. Uh, so yeah, never leave the house without some Bangella. Um, Ashton and Parsons is also a good one, and then for really particular bad days, I take some cowpaw. So yeah, Bangella. Oh, I love the smell. I'll just have a little. Right, so what I should have showed you when everything was in the bag was at this. And this is like a, it's an inner bag, which everything I've just showed you on the floor was inside this. And I love this. Again, it's got the gorgeous cocoa bow um, design of the little bow on the front. It's got this gorgeous grow grain um, over shoulder strap with the gold um, metalware that I said before. This is amazing. When I don't have... I don't need to take the big bag out with me or if I need to go to the toilet to change one of the boys or yeah or if I'm just popping to my mum's house then this is just handy I literally just pop it over my shoulder super easy to carry and it's it, it feels as chic as the outer bag the gorgeous top of the colour again with that gold bow and yeah so attention to detail and something of an inner bag is amazing and it's got these little poppers so you can secure it in the bag a lot more secure and I use this as much as I use the outer bag it's it's just gorgeous and it's just yeah do, 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 do. Uh, right sorry about that my camera cut out I'm not sure what I was up to but I think I was just showing you the inside of the bag so again it's got the gorgeous um, logo of the little bow and it's all chocolate and yummy inside and it's got so many compartments which I'll insert some cutaways so you can see but yeah it's got it's literally got everything you could need for um, putting your phone, your keys um, it's just it's amazing it's such a thoughtful bag and it's got so many little details you can literally pop all your different things in again like I said the different compartments which is a godsend when you have two because um, you want to be able to grab what you need for each pet each baby or toddler or boy or whatever and um, as easy as possible so that's what's in my bag I will link all the details down below for anything that I can find um, and yeah I hope you've enjoyed this I would love to hear from you any tips of what's in your bag or any questions you may have of what I found to be useful or not useful and, and that's it so thank you so much for watching if you like this please give it the old thumbs up and um, if you are new I would love for you to subscribe let's see if we can get to 100 subscribers by 2019 <laughs> um, and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye Pachycephalosaurus no that's not it let's see Pachycephalosaurus Pachycephalosaurus Saurus Example. The Pachycephalosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. I don't want to know where he lived. I want to know how to say it. Pachycephalosaurus. 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 It's a dinosaur with a funny shaped head. And I found that it's really handy. Oh, Alexa. Oh, that was Alexa just telling us the weather. Thank you. Um, when I'm out and about. Oh, sorry, I just realised spray mats made Georgie sneeze and cough. Oh, sorry, Georgie. He's okay. Sorry if you can still hear little squinchy noises. Oh, it's Georgie down below. Georgie's been teething since. Oh, there it goes. <laughs>